First up on this day, we again tested the foam generation with a launch tube. This time we didn't use any silicon grease on the tube or the nozzle. As you can see, this made sure that the foam didn't collapse during pressurization. Four, three, two, one, go! Jeez. The second test for the day was trying to deploy the large parachute. Last time we tried this, the nose cone separated on burnout, but this time the nose cone was secured a lot better. Due to the very strong wind, we put the deployment mechanism on a small rocket and only pressurized it to 80 psi. The rocket didn't go very high, and although the mechanism worked as expected, the large parachute didn't inflate by the time it landed. You can see as the pilot chute deploys, it swings the rocket around and pulls off the nose cone and then pulls out the large chute. Unfortunately, the pilot chute slowed the rocket down too much, preventing enough airflow to open the main chute. On the second attempt, we pressurized the rocket to 120 psi. And although the rocket went a lot higher, the main chute again failed to inflate. I think we may need to separate the pilot chute and let the rocket fall with the main canopy only. And last up is a series of highlights from other foam flights on the day. Three, two, one, go! 